It's always a pleasure for us to have a chance to be with the controlling owner of the Tennessee Titans, Amy Adams Strunk. And here in Houston today, watching as the NFL revealed the remainder of their Centennial Hall of Fame class, disappointed that your father and our founder, Bud Adams, was not part of the class, but of the 13 people, certainly deserving, and I know you want to provide your congratulations. Oh, absolutely. I congratulate all three gentlemen, all, all the 15 for that matter, on getting into the centennial class. And, you know, yes, I'm disappointed, but those, those three gentlemen were very deserving, and we'll keep fighting for my dad. I totally believe he, he needs to get in at some point, and I truly believe he will. And this process with the centennial class, the extra group going in, allowed one more opportunity to make his case and reveal his amazing story as part of the history of the game. I think it's safe to say it furthered his candidacy for the future. Oh, I think so. I think, you know, maybe a lot of people had forgotten the accomplishments of my dad through the 53 years that he owned a pro football team. So, you know, it kind of refreshed memories and hopefully as time goes on he'll have another chance at it and with his franchise your franchise uh, playing against another original AFL team this weekend in the AFC championship game it only keeps his name and his memory out there and uh, these opportunities are something that uh, don't come along every year as we know I know you're excited about going to Kansas City this oh my weekend goodness. it's just a dream come true and you know, for Bud's Titans and Lamar's Chiefs to go at it for a chance to go to the Super Bowl. I mean, what a great story. I hope, you know, I've, I've thought about this a lot. I hope they're up there having a watch party. I know they will be. They will be. They will be. And, you know, maybe a little friendly wager, a little hot chicken versus KC barbecue. It's a great story and it's going to be a fun Sunday. You started this process nearly five years ago. We did our first interview with you almost four years ago to oh the goodness. day, if you can believe Amazing. that. And to see four winning seasons, two playoff appearances, and now the AFC Championship game. Um, I'm sure you're proud of what the football side has accomplished in your tenure. What do you like most about what you're seeing from the football side for the Tennessee Titans right now? Well, I think, you know, these guys, our team has a lot of heart, and people are calling us gritty and you know, maybe the underdog. I don't really like that term. I, I like being under the radar maybe a little more, but you know, I'm so proud. I mean, we had a rough start and our guys believed in each other. They believed in the coaches and you know, here we are today. It's just really exciting. For the fans. Uh, For you, everybody. You show up at all the tailgate parties and people are thrilled to see you. Uh, the people around Nashville have been having a great time at, at watch parties. Uh, you've seen a lot of the signs on social media from the businesses and the schools, the energy that the fans are taking. I know you're most appreciative. Oh, I'm just thrilled because our fans mean everything to us. And to finally get in this important game with the chance for a Super Bowl and see the energy and the excitement and not only Nashville, not only Tennessee, really across the United States and even across the pond and down in Mexico. I mean, we have a lot of fans all over, and that is just really exciting to all of us, to the players, to the coaches, to me, to my family, to Kenna. I mean, that's just really cool that, you know, we have sparked a real, a real interest. A renaissance, if it, you it will, from, from what it was like 20 years ago in terms of the enthusiasm, giving this next generation of Titans fans sort of their 99 team, which they need because this will be the team they'll be talking about as they get older, and continuing to establish this franchise for what you wanted from the start. You said, I want to be first class top to bottom. I want to be in this thing every year. I want to have excellence in, in sort of every level are we close to having it where you want it? Well, I don't think you're ever where you exactly want it. But, you know, it is about getting that, that Lombardi trophy. It truly is. But there's something to me about the journey to get there that's really just as much fun. Because I'm sure for the teams that have gotten that Lombardi trophy, you know, you wake up the next week and you're kind of like, oh, God, that was great. But, wow, okay, it's done. Darn. I like, you know, I liked how it went. 
And that really is something to remember that the journey is just as much fun as the prize at the end. And here we are in yeah. Jan January. We're talking about an AFC championship game. We're talking about getting our founder in the Hall of Fame. We're talking about the fans being excited and a new generation of fans getting a chance to see something special. This is that journey you're talking it's about. It's the journey. It's just really so fun. I mean, you, you look all over Nashville right now and the kids in school and the church and businesses and everyone's talking. I mean, football, let's face it, brings everybody together. And when you win, it's just so much fun that people you maybe wouldn't talk to. You just, oh, you have a Titans you know, t-shirt on. I, I got to talk to you. So it's really, it's a fun thing. And I'm, I'm glad our, our city and our fans across the nation are getting to experience it. Thank you for letting us be here and for letting Titans Nation uh, hear from you today during this big week and this big time. Thank you. Well, you're welcome and tighten up. Take everything, guys.